Hello everybody, welcome to an incredible round of 32 game one match up here. We've got Diomed with Necromantic. I mean, I, this is a terrible intro, but I'm, I've got to roll with it because they're playing up against Nabolo with Skaven. Um, Nabolo went on a 56 game unbeaten streak and tabletop one time. And Diomed is, in my opinion, one of the best players in Blood Bowl 3 right now. So this is a pretty cool matchup. It's an interesting with Necro versus Skaven as well because they've got like, you know, Stand Firm and Sidestep to fight the one turn. I'm not such a fan of uh, Diamond's build because he's only got one wolf, which on defense, you know, having the two wolves or the coverage of the two wolves makes a big difference. So I think, you know, chasing gutters around, I really do think uh, this is gonna, probably going to be the worst time to have one wolf, right? Versus the other games, in the other, versus the other opponents, maybe one wolf isn't so bad, but versus like Wood Elves and Skaven, surely only having one wolf is going to be a bit of a bit of a pain for him. Um, but there you go. Right, let me uh, just get the Breaky T's official document. It's not an official document actually. It's all in one document, and then I can tell you that Diomed is Russian and qualified through the season four official playoffs and Nabolo is French and qualified from the Lutece Cup and uh, yeah this is this could be the biggest match well it is the, in my opinion this is the biggest match of the first round absolutely absolutely the biggest match of the first round very exciting Though, of course, Jay Lee versus uh, Olivier Delac was, was incredible. <laughs> so it's got a lot to live up to. But in terms of initial hype, this is the one that's got me the most hyped before kickoff. Um, Diamond didn't win the toss and chose to receive. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there you go. <sighs> And they might be Steve. How long I argue? To actually surf the mic, you blow over the wolf. Yeah, he could have done. Yeah, that was a weird setup, wasn't it? I guess he was thinking like counter surf somehow. But he couldn't have, could he? Yeah. Whoa. Poor. Yeah. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, yeah, but then he'd have to he'd have to really protect him. He'd have to really protect him. It would, it would he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it basically. He basically couldn't do it. The, the problem is the investment, not the protecting. Like the protect yes you can protect him, but when you've got seven players or whatever, five players, six players over here, then the elves just come and take your ball and win. <laughs> so that's not a that's not a plan that you should be pursuing. What uh, Diomed has to remember is, that, of course, that Nabolo has Juggernaut, which is uh, a bit painful for him. Ooh, Nabolo doesn't have an Apo, though, does he? That's what he's given up. He's given up the Apo, so he's kept the three rerolls. He's lost the leader, and he's kept the three rerolls, but he's given up the Apothecary. And hello, mm, Samich. Hello, Sinai Studio. Yeah, what a game this is. What a game this is. Four. This is the Olivia Delac build for Eurobowl minus the uh, leader thrower. Um, and then, but plus a reroll. Yeah, he swapped the reroll for the uh, Apothecary, so he's kind of kept it the same, just lost an apple. Which, you know, pretty good. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, I, I guess it's completely a standard Skaven build, but I just say. I just say the uh, Olivier Delac build because, you know, I mean, it's literally the Olivier Delac build. I think most people have a guard one and a something else one, um, either double guard or guard tackle or guard mighty, whereas Olivier does go mighty and guard. Banging people out is very powerful. No blitz, well, the problem is you go out of position, don't you? So, you know, very sensible. He hit with his block players and uh, this is the thing, he's got to play really careful, right? With this build, with only one wolf, he has to play really carefully. Now you can argue, with two wolves, you should play really carefully, 
and not have them banged out but people tend not to when they've got two wolves they tend to let them get punched a little bit and then get one KO'd or something and uh, you know they, they usually still win but it's also harder to look after two wolves as well right so I mean <laughs> I feel like maybe Diamonds is better if it goes right but like Davos is better if it goes wrong kind of thing right it is very early, isn't it? But it's, I mean, this is when they're playing. Um, Diamed's in Russia, so I don't know how you, what plus UTC he is, but I imagine this is a good time for him. And uh, obviously, Nabolo able to accommodate. Got the Mighty Blow Blitz. The good thing about the Mighty Blow guy is it means you don't have to hit with a, like, you don't feel compelled to hit with a Roger, right? Because the Roger's got like three dice and Mighty Blow. If you don't have a Mighty Blow, then you kind of feel compelled to activate the Rogue, whereas by having the Mighty Blow Blitzer, we can just Blitz with him every turn. Oh, I've just realised it's on Red and Blue. I literally didn't even realise it was on Red and Blue. Okay. Um, oh, we've got, we've got Custom Cheerleaders. That's good. Orc Cheerleaders and All World Alliance. Uh, but no sideline stuff sad this i think this is the default is this the default no they've got a stripey jumper haven't they no so he has changed it a little bit a little bit customized from diamond good and a weird green and orange from a bolo good at the blood ball not so good at choosing color schemes <laughs> He doesn't really need uh, guard on cage corners, right? Because there's only strip, like there's only strip ball on the gutter, like it's strength two. So I guess he could make it so it's always a three D uphill. You can do that, can't you? Um, but no, big Chi Chi, no. Um, <laughs> I just, I just like mentioning them. I like, I do. I like, I like, I like them. I like them. I, it sounds, it may sound stupid, but the problem is, in a normal, in a normal, you know, setting, you just don't get to apply them, right? Because it's like 175 clicks, and then your players can just all die <laughs> in the next game. Whereas, uh, so you'll see that all of my ladder teams are all default tick colours. I just go red and blue so I can see what's happening and I don't customize my teams at all. But for this, I painted them and, you know, changed all the cosmetics and stuff and quite like looking at my lovely red and white team. But uh, that's because it was for the World Cup and I knew I was going to play at least three games with them. But, you know, for ladder, when you could just have a mummy die turn one and write, concede, delete team, doesn't seem worth it, does it? Hello, Marta. Um, I don't know who you're wishing good luck, but good luck to Diamed on a bowl or both. <laughs> so he's got the fleshy marking two players there, trying to make a bit of a push here. Does this mean we're blitzing the fleshy or problem Diamond's got is if he gets banged out as much as Nabolo's opponents did in the group stage, he'll he's gonna lose because <laughs> Nabolo slaughtered pretty much everybody he played. Yep, Niagara. That's when foul appearance is so annoying, isn't it? Because like, you you, it's, you know the the uh, the rates are one of the players you can blitz with. The, you can blitz against the easiest, right? The strength three. Oh, cast himself. Flip me, and KO the zombie. Hilarious. A murderous little rat there. 
But funnily enough, you know, that it cost him, right, not being able to make the blitz with Mighty Blow. Um, he had to blitz without block and cast himself. So, yeah, if that had been Mighty Blow Blitz, he would have, in fact, um, not removed his own player. <laughs> But yeah, the new the new improved foul appearance is a nightmare because like you look at the team and you're like, well, these are strength four, the stand firm. I don't want to blitz them, and then you know the other players they try to protect them with their guards. Whereas often the you know race strength three, you can actually hit them, but then them just wasting your whole blitz is like so annoying. This looks good pushing down here, doesn't it? Only uh, got run in the way, but then he doesn't want to doesn't want to abandon his fleshy, I guess. So it's a bit of a some things to think about. Maybe because he would have re-rolled the Flesh Golem hit, but not the Zombie hit. If it was a 1 in 9. That's all I can think of. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's really no difference, but I guess that is a thing, right, if you if you've got 3D. I guess that could be the thinking. If he did think, he might have just thought, I'll do this, then I'll do this. Like, if his, if his thinking was to put in the assist there to get the 3D afterwards, and it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But he might have thought of the order. Well, he might be exposing a zombie. No, he's keeping, the, he's keeping the zombies protected as well. Refusing to give Nabolo an easy blitz. And again, the one easily blitzable guy is the one with foul appearance. And sidestep, so if you hit him and don't power him, he gets to hit you back. He's not getting any, any penetration, though, as he turned three, he hasn't gotten anywhere. You know, he's he's very much leaning on the protection scale here, Diamed. He does need to get forward as well. Similarly, Nabolo's just been happy to stay where he is, basically, right? He's in the way. He's not feeling the need to do any crazy ball sacks or anything. But now, all of his bad players are prone and marked. <laughs> and all of his juicy good players are unprotected. So... No... It's holding the centre, isn't it? I think holding the centre is really good versus most teams. If you just hold the centre, they struggle to um, do things. Here we are, we're going for the mighty blow blitz. And this is the thing, if foul appearance fails there, you're just getting a good runner punched. Which is sad, and now you're still getting a good runner punched. And maybe a blitzer punched as well. He can sidestep up, can't he? Yep, which he does. Stays in contact with the mighty. Look, we might even see a wolf blitz now. Outrageous. An outrageous wolf blitz could, could occur. Three into three on the gutter. It's got to tempt him, hasn't it? Or stick the mighty blow on the sideline, potentially. But I imagine he'll want to hit the Mighty Blow and the Gutter. It's 
funny the wolf isn't even that good is it in this match that's that that's the funny thing because like you know he hasn't really got a claw for this game like it's incredible versus orcs etc uh, lizards you know when he when he's hitting av 10 plus but versus the skaven it's not really such a big deal at all so keeping him as you know something to use if things go wrong and you need him is fine Yes, exactly, and that's why he, so that's why he doesn't want to like get him stuck in, right? He just wants to protect him. So the fact that he's not getting to use him so much, he's not going to be concerned about. Though he is using him now, and he does get the pow. Both down there could have been. I mean, this is still a bit like it's still taking him a bit out of his way. I think I preferred three dicing the gutter, like six dicing the gutter and then two dicing the mighty blow. But he's gone for trapping the gutter, which is quite good. Could base the ball with a rat auger here, couldn't he? <laughs> that looks kind of appealing. To just blitz the f fleshy. And uh, see what happens. I'm not saying it's a good idea or he should or anything, but it's a possibility. People do like basing the ball with rat augers. It's a thing where normally you can't, right? Normally the fleshy would be holding this. Well, I mean, you could also normally blitz this guy as well, but then you'd be in 2 and 0 1. It is 10 versus 10. Hello, Rock. Yep. Uh, a both down from a line rat, cast himself, and KO'd a zombie. This is indeed the first match of Diamed versus Nabolo and also the first match of the stream today. Kaz from the Mighty Blow. Oh my god, Nabolo is still rolling like a god, but the Wraith does regen. Just quietly, um, only one person in the entire tournament didn't make a single Kaz in the grip stage. I don't even need to tell you who that lucky person was. Regen was pretty OP there, yeah. Rats OP. This is grim, isn't it, being outnumbered by rats? It's, it's so annoying. It's so annoying because, like, it's not that unlikely that they outnumber you. And, uh, you know, because, like, they, they're hitting with their own mighty blow and they can foul you and stuff. Like, it's not... it Like, they it, they quite regularly, they can outbash you. It's not ridiculous that they outbash you. And, uh, yeah, it's just really hard when they do. Mr. Page made only three casualties with seven mighty blow and the sneaky kit, which is pretty tragic. He was pretty unlucky with his, uh, his crazy build. I do remember when regen was two plus, yes. And you could also... It does, Barney, yep. Yeah. And, uh... Also, when regen was 2+, plus, it was 180k to roster Count Luther von Drakenborg, who was blodge in those days. I hate this from Diamed. Hate this from Diamed. You need to know where your cage is going to be, and you should have moved it. <laughs> You should have moved your cage already. 
Yes, you're on. It's only a one in, on a one in thirty, like an you know, one in a twelve nine six, that this fails. Okay, he gets the removal. But you have to make the cage completely safe first, right? Like that was so bad if he won in twelve nine six. And yes, it is only a, you know, I don't know what it is, <laughs> a point one percent chance. But still. On that 0.1% chance, you lose. So, make it so you don't lose, right? But he's going through. So the reason that he didn't move it was because he is going through. Well, in that case, it wasn't a mistake. It was a calculated risk. <laughs> this is the problem, right? You don't know people's plans when they're doing things. That's why... You know, you can't say things are completely wrong. I think it was a bit risky, but I don't think it would have been much worse if the ball had been back here. Oh, he's rushing to base the roger and rolls a one. This is probably worth it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, like, you know, two squares makes a whole lot of difference. But it's nice, he's got the guards, doesn't he, make us an uphill. Lots of tackle zones for the stripper. The stripper's got the easy dodge in, but that's not like an easy route in, except it's a minus four dodge, so it's not an easy route in. So it's a very, it's a very strong cage. If you come in the back way, you've got two guards. This is like the best way to hit it, and that's a long old way indeed. Well, let's see. If he if he pushes then pals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, rush, rush. <laughs> so he, he can do it. <laughs> because Skaven. <laughs> but I don't think it's a good idea. It's an easy I I I, I explained it, Jay Leave, like the direct Right, the direct route in is uh, the obvious and direct route in. It's not an easy dodge. Yes, this gutter runner is in uh, in a pickle right now. I imagine this is going to be a roger blitz and then base the wolf so that um, to like stop this guy getting served at least like base this zombie one two three four five six yeah I can base the zombie right with a blitz maybe it doesn't maybe it just wants to bring him back to there we'll see where he puts him it's here or here isn't it what are your options Oh, there. Uh, okay, the gutter's gonna go there. Okay. I guess that's far enough, isn't it? I mean, this stops the surf. Blitzing the sidestepper does let you tag the roger again, but doesn't get you pushed down the sideline further. Blitzing this guy opens up a gaping hole, but then he's got the roger and all the rats and everything ready to react. Like you see this kind of trap space quite a lot in tabletop, where the you know like it's the the way you can cage is just after their line, so they tempt you. They tempt you with a gaping hole and then punish you for it. But the problem is, the problem with this kind of tempting move is often it's the best you're going to get anyway, right? So like you've still got to go for it. That's that's the problem. I've seen people, like people have done it against me and I'm like, <laughs> I know that you've done this on purpose, but the thing is if I don't do this, I'm not going to get anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, he might just, he might just, Go where the wolf is with the ball. Hello, Cosmigo. Get 
gets the pow. Sticks him out here, no doubt. The problem is he's got to protect the fleshy from Surf as well as the wolf. Hello Cosmigo, this is game one in Nabolo versus Diamed and also the first game of the stream. Yep. Hell of a game. Ah, yeah, sidestep out there is pretty good, isn't it? Sidestep foul appearance, that's a great square for him. That protects the wolf and the fleshy with the same square. Two players out for Diamed. Two players out for Nabolo. Is spicy. That is, some might say, a mistake. I'm not sure he can rectify it. Wow. Did not expect that from Diamed. Did not expect that from Diamed. This this ghoul had to be one square back. Had to be. Oh no. I mean that protects him a little bit, but not much, right? I guess that so maybe this is like a trap from Diamed as well, right? Hope Hope Nabolo fails the three plus, but um, oh yeah, yeah, the Wrestle Ghoul could have gone there and saved it, yeah, yep. I guess then he's got to fill this with a gutter run, run hasn't he? Which is a hard dodge. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this ghoul could have uh, this ghoul could have filled it, but Wow. Well we'll see what Nabolo does. Maybe he doesn't see the play guys. But And maybe he does see the play and just doesn't want to take it, right? So there, there is that too. It's relatively high risk, but the drive is almost done now, right? Like he's got past you. Okay, well he didn't go for it anyway. He didn't go for the play. Wow. Wow, I'm shocked. That Nabola didn't go for that. Yes, Christopher B. That's what I would have done. Um, I would have absolutely moved this guy in there. 1D blocked him, pushed the ghoul out, and then blitzed the ghoul with a right auger. But instead he's got a right auger on the ball, and he can move gutters out and screen. And it's fine, isn't it? It's a bit more... It's a bit more, like, safe. Yeah, he didn't kill his own mighty blow. That's sad, isn't it? No offence to Nabolo or... Uh, or anything, but, you know, I just like seeing gutter runners die. <laughs> well, maybe he's not screening then. He's just going to stand everything up and go full contact. The race scoring threat, very powerful. Nabolo dipping into his time bank for what feels like the first time. Diamonds used two and a half in the first half so far. Good afternoon, DK Max. 
Yeah, dogs the dogs. Honestly, I just enjoy seeing Skaven die, no matter what they are. <laughs> okay, holding the sideline with a sidestep is fair, isn't it? Oh, what in course for the extra dodge. Is there a worse feeling in Blood Bowl than Skaven rolling three pluses? He could just stay where he is, right? If he powers, if he powers the Rogue, like there's an obvious flesh golem blitz, right? Flesh golem blitz, stand there, move him to there, block him. So you can he can have a full cage um, very easily. He just doesn't get much on top of that. Yeah, indeed, Dug to the Dog. Yeah, it's just funny. It's, uh, I guess it's because, like, gutters are just so overpowered, isn't it, really? They're like, gutters are so ridiculously unbelievable that that makes you hate normal rats as well. <laughs> um, Juggernaut's still probably better just because of... Uh, oh, wow. Juggernaut's still probably better just for the one turn, right? Juggernaut is very powerful for one turn. I'm surprised that he didn't blitz the ball. Uh, blitz the ball. Blitz the roller and stay where he is. Now, I mean, he can't be 75% dodging. He could try and one dice the roller, but then he hasn't got a lot to go with him. He could give Nabolo a two turn touchdown. He could move the. Yeah, move the. Wolf up there, so push him away and then get the fleshy in for a 2D, but then where, how does he, is he just going to score? Is he just scoring this turn? Like, how do you protect, the? how on earth do you protect the ball here? Oh, he didn't wrestle him, so the plan was not to score. Oh, is it just here? Ball here and like a uh, Y cage? Y cage? Like if you're just gonna clear, then you clear with the wrestle, right? Like it doesn't make any sense to punch with a zombie unless you're using this, re this wrestler for something. You could Y cage, that's not terrible, is it? But, I mean, you're getting auto stripped is the problem. Wrestle, oh yeah, wrestle was a 1D. Oh my God, I'm blind. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, disregard, errata, errata. Yeah, maybe he's just going to score then. Use three minutes of uh, time in this half. Yes, dog to the dog. Oh, yeah, to be fair, like, as annoying as gutters are, um, war dancers are something else, aren't they? Okay, so this is okay. He leaves the assist square on, but it's covered by two guards. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. And then it's hard ish for the stripper to get all the way around, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's uphill as well. Uh, though I guess you could tag him, dodge him, and then you've got your 1D with wrestle. So you can, uh, you can 1D with wrestle. Very easy one, like auto, almost automatic 1D with wrestle. You can one D in with strip as well. Yeah. 
But it's a bit of work. It's a bit of work to do anyway, so we'll see. We'll see if he goes for this. But there are ways to attack the ball. That was pretty... That was pretty okay for the state he was in. We'd also need another player, J. Lee. Oh, no, it wouldn't need. Yeah, put him there. Put him there. Okay. Yeah, so you can get a 1D wrestle into an uphill strip. Have to use four gutters. It's interesting, isn't it? Tail on the ball is, is good, but yeah, probably not good enough. And this is the time, he's got all three re-rolls. This is the time to like, try something if you're trying something, but he might just, he might just blitz the fleshy and base the ball. Yep. And then he could like, screen with a, screen with the, uh, rat somehow. Okay, we're going for the 1D. We're going for the 1D wrestle. Hello, Sol. Yeah, I mean, I thought he had to go for it. No, he does dodge with a gutter. He could have gone for the real greedy player of going with this guy, right? Four, five, six. Oh, no, it'd been a rush as well. That'd been mega greedy to go with that. We're going to give him another gutter to uh, react with. So now it has used all four gutters, but he's got the uphill strip. And he does get the strip. Gonna push him. Oh no, I thought he even pushed him in the middle of the gutters. Interestingly, he pushed him away. I'd have kept him with the gutters. Interesting. Doesn't mean much, Carl Knight. Oh! Oh, that's outrageous. <laughs> Now, Nabolo has some three pluses he can roll, and four pluses potentially. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to score from the scatter anyway, though, right? Because he's used all his gutters already. There was, a, there was a certain amount of value in dodging this guy, and then you'd have had a, the block gutter here to react. But now, of course, you can punch this guy and... Uh, He doesn't do anything. He just ends the turn. And the problem is the failure state, but by I'd be really tempted. I'd be really tempted. I'd be really tempted to try for like some threes and fours. Yeah, I, I, I would have, yeah, exactly. I would have definitely had him in there. But I mean, it's still hard, isn't it, for uh... But he's got, the, he's got the clear of the ball, at least. He's got auto ball clear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. He can't do that, so he does have to transfer it to either the wolf or the other ghoul. Somehow, well, somehow being two blocks. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, handoff. So it's not hard, is it? But maybe he's found a better way.
It's the same way. It's just it's just the better way of doing it, isn't it? You get to use the blitz to three D this guy, and then you block him. So it's the same way. When well, no, he's oh okay, no, yeah, it's, it's still the same way. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, handoff. Obviously blitzing with a wolf is better because you've got more chance of hurting a gutter runner. Which he does. So it's better to score on the wolf than the ghoul. The ghoul did have the, the wrestle hit, right? That was the thing about hitting with the, the clearing with the ghoul. But then by using his blitz he gets 3D for the push. So he's got a dodge, and he's got a hand off two three pluses. Reroll for both of them. Makes the dodge. Makes the hand off. Easy. <laughs> what, what is this a new bug? I've never seen this before. It's it's doing this. Oh. Um, so there you go. Very nice, very nice solve by Diamond. But now he's got to uh, defend against the one turn. KO stays out for Nabolo. Ten players. It's the wrestler that died. So he's still got sidestep and frenzy juggernaut. I hope Diomed has thought about the one turn. Because if he hasn't, he's in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, you would think he would have done. Hello, Darth Otter. Because, like, you better have a plan to try and stop this. The fact that you've got sidestep. You've got two side steppers and two stand firms. You really should have thought how to stop this. That's weird, isn't it? I can't say. I've never had it happen that I've noticed until today. <laughs> like, literally yesterday it was fine. And... He needs the side stepper on the LOS, though, right? So... This seems... Interesting. Oh, on the edge of the LOS, yeah. Well, we'll see. I don't I don't want to try and solve one turns anymore. <laughs> after the after the chalice, let's just leave solving one turns to the player. And then afterwards I can say, ah well what I would have done is this. <laughs> but um It's not easy, is it? It's not easy with uh sidesteppers and stand firmers. But he does get he's got Juggernaut, so it's also not hard. <laughs> Juggernaut does cancel stand firm, yeah. But you've, it means you've got to get both squares forward by using the blitz, right? So you've got to, like, chain, chain your own players into both pushes purely from the blitz. So it takes a bit of planning and... Uh, yeah. It's not simple. I mean, some people... Some people like Dog to the Dog would, <laughs> would find a way to mess this up even with a quick snap. <laughs> but <laughs> also the quick snap is something to think about, right? Um, you know, like maybe put one of your other gutters where if you get a quick snap you can do things. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy. Also, Nabolo should have thought about how he's going to do the one turn as well, right? They should have both thought about this. Like, Diamond should have been thinking, how the hell do I stop the one turn? 
uh, versus the Juggernaut, and Nabolo should be thinking, how the hell should I do the one turn against the Stand Firm? And now I'm completely bamboozled. Has he given up on the one turn? It looks like Nabolo's just given up on the one turn, right? I'm hoping for a, a timeout. He doesn't get a timeout. I mean, if this is a one turn, it's the best one turn I've ever seen in my life because I've got no idea how he's going to do with the right ogre over there. <laughs> this seems, by the way, one million percent wrong, right? Like one million percent wrong to give up on the one turn. Like even if even if you have to five plus roger blitz. You five plus roger blitz, right? Yeah, exactly, Nyag. Yeah, like if you can't think how to solve it, just five plus roger blitz. Like that's better than this. That's better than this. He had four rerolls for this, Nabolo. Four rerolls and didn't even try. That's, uh. You've got to at least try the roger dodge. Well, that's easy for you to say, Mr. 59 Games of Tabletop Unbeaten. But, um, you know, Nabolo is a little bit of a noob with only 56 games unbeaten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's 56. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I mean, I know what you're saying, so yeah, like, look, it, 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 it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? it they, they should have, they should have been practicing, both of them should have been practicing, and, uh, I think, with two and a half thousand euros on the line for first place, I feel like it was worth both of them spending a few minutes during the week to uh, think about, you know, stopping the one turn and making the one turn. Oh, wow, this Blitzer has double failed his KO roll. So, the ball is down to 10 players now and has failed his one turn. So, strong favourite Diomed. Mentally as well. Is there a good resource for one-turn setups? Uh, there kind of is. Um, there is KFOG's videos. I actually haven't watched them myself. Outrageously. If you bear with me, I've just realised I have to post in chat my uh, all my links here. Oh God, I, <laughs> I pasted the edited, but never mind. Right, so that's all of the links that you need um, about the World Cup. Um, K Fog. He did something like one turn, one and done. There you go. I've literally never, never watched these. Um, so I don't know how, like obviously KFOG's great, right? But I don't know how accessible it is. But there's, uh, there's KFOG's videos on one turn. I should watch them sometime, but I never play races that can one turn, basically. Even though I think I'm quite good at one turning. Um, you know, maybe if I played loads of Skaven, I would watch, I would watch that. 
series myself. Dark Elves can one turn, yes, but it's very difficult, especially when people try to defend against it. It's so difficult that if people try to defend against it, I like to just surf a player is probably better. Um, or set up to one turn with a quick snap. Really, it's hard enough that you can dismiss one turning and just go with, uh, you know, damage and stuff. Also, with Dark Elves, it's best just to not get scored on on turn 8. That's the, that's the main thing that limits Dark Elf one turning potential is um, getting scored on. If, if, people can't if people can't defend against a one turn, they can't score on turn 8 versus Dark Elves. <laughs> Way! <Wahey. laughs> there you go, Ali Raider. Hello, Chunter. <laughs> I mean, I do them, Mr. Yem and Dem. I just don't play races that are, do them easily very often. I mean, I, I think I'm very good at them because I watch people do them and I know the right way to do them nearly every time. So, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've, I mean, I've got a, I've got a dark elf one turn on YouTube. It's like the problem is, it's just so hard to do in terms of the dice rolls that you need to make, right? Like, it's not that you don't know how; it's the dice rolls you have to roll is is ridiculous, especially with knobs. I mean, obviously, for Rick, the dice rolls aren't an obstacle, no. But I mean, I'm the one person who hasn't made a Nick Kaz in the entire ramp, in the entire group stage of 96 games, <laughs> 98 games, because we had the we had the uh, tiebreakers. I was the only person who made zero Kaz <laughs> in in the, in the three games. <laughs> Mister Yemen. Yeah, <laughs> 11 cards, well done, Julie. Thanks, Christopher B. Yeah, I mean, that helps if you may, if you get the Wood Elves to beat. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't playing soft teams. I actually made quite a lot of blocks. I outblocked the Orcs, <laughs> which is quite funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, thanks, Chunter. Ooh, double one. It's not a critical double one, but there could be dice on the ball, couldn't there? Okay, it could actually be a critical double one. There are dice on the ball. Should he choose to go for it? Surely he will. A Minotaur wouldn't have... Uh, wouldn't have left this on, right? But the Rat Ogre being worse, with Animal Savagery being absolutely terrible, has left this hit on the ball. It might be worth it. It's got to be worth it. Hasn't it? Hasn't it? Hasn't it got... Haven't you got to do this? Surely. It's a single rush. <laughs> to hit the ball on two dice with block. Or I guess you could do it with a wolf as well. No, that's a hard little wolf. There's a lovely roger, yeah. I guess it blitzed, right? And failed to blitz. That block tells me he's definitely going for the ball sack. It's a pretty irresistible ball sack, isn't it? A 
lovely wraith placement. Here we go. Makes the rush, gets the boat down. Oh. If he'd cut the corner and dodged it, if he hadn't put that wraith there, he could have cut the corner and then actually picked it up this turn, couldn't he? I did wonder if it was worth thinking about cutting the corner. The wolf has now been... It's too far away, right? It's just too far away. Unless it jumps over... It could jump over that gutter runner. It could have jumped over the gutter. What would Keith do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rush, pick up. Yeah, it would be a four plus, four, three though. A four, three is pretty ropey. But two tackle zones on the ball. <laughs> jump, <laughs> jump! <laughs> 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 well, it was an incredible play, yeah. This is a pickle now. This is officially a pickle for Nabolo. Yeah, the 4 3 was asking a lot. I think if you do that, then honestly, you probably just do the, the, the ghoul corner cut, right? If you're willing to roll those dice, you probably do the ghoul corner cut and, like, just move the wraith to a worse spot. Wow. This is a killer. This is this is tough, isn't it? This is a great turn. I mean, obviously terrible turn. Uh, terrible. Terrible rogue activation fail. And terrible snake. Funabolo has left him in a massive pickle. So he's got to think about where the second side step is going, right? And I would have wanted my second sidestep to have been back into there to stop this guy dodging out. Um, so I think, I think actually, maybe I wouldn't have put him in. He kind of had to go in there, didn't he? So maybe... Sidestep to there, then there? No, yeah, yeah, sidestep to there, then there, right? And that, that that's and then you've got the roger there, which is and so he's got to dodge out round the back and stuff. And if he doesn't remove you, yeah, that was that was the play, but it doesn't matter now. Makes the dodge. Gets the pow. Removes the wolf. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The weakness of Diamed's build is exposed. Wolf is down. Wolf is down. Okay, fails the pickup. Use the reroll, fail. Down to one reroll now, Nabolo. The good thing for Diamond is he's already 1 0 up, so he doesn't have to score this half. So now he knows where his focus is, right? It's just everything is into defense to try and hang on to this 1 0 victory now. But that is brutal. A brutal a brutal turn, right? Two removals, including the wolf, is horrendous. <laughs> Perfectly laid out trap, yeah. Or don't. It is indeed the big match, yep. Huge pal. Glorious pal. The problem is, the only one who can get the ball is the wrestler, isn't it now?
<laughs> it is all done, yeah. Uh, my games are on Wednesday and Thursday, both at 9pm UTC. Unfortunately, uh, tough draw versus uh, Mirror versus Go Go Bear with, I believe, a superior build to my team. So, tricky. So, you go three dice blitz from the uh, fleshy, probably. Yep. Doesn't get the power. Does he re roll? He does not re roll. Maybe he should have. Maybe he should have. I feel like it's hard to do it right. It's hard to re-roll it. But I think maybe he should have. Thanks, Ordon. Yeah, I think I am, actually. Okay, well, that was a great scatter, actually, for Diomed. You can actually get to it. If you re-roll this, then maybe you should re-roll the hit, right? That, that, that's what I'm thinking, right? If, you, if you're going to re-roll the pickup, then re-roll the hit, right? So you, so you pow him and you get in a cage and stuff. It increases your chance of pickup as well, so he does fail the pickup. And... Well, it's not easy to clear, is it? It's, it at least, at least Diomed has that going for him. It's not easy to clear this at all in two flesh golems tackle zones. <laughs> That's that is true Odin, yeah. I mean, it's still, he's still in a pickle here, in the bowl. Okay, the Blitz is with a Roger. Like, there's no need to get it this turn, is there, at the end of the day? Like, he he's not going for the win, probably, now, Nabolo, right? Nabolo's playing for the tie. So, he's actually up players, 10 versus 9. Yep. 10 versus 9. <laughs> so he's up players. He doesn't have to like do everything right to get the ball in a gutter instantly. He can just uh, he can get this guy in and stuff. You can uphill him, yes. You can. he's not going to but you don't have to right you don't have to get it this turn that's the thing you are the team with the advantage now on this drive right diamonds down a guard wraith and a wolf block wolf you're down only one player but you're down in quality due to guard blitzer and wrestle gutter but you've got the player advantage so you don't really have to, you know, he's in no rush to score now, Nabolo. Really isn't in a rush to score. There is an element, of course, it's like Skaven being against the clock in that they're going to get banged out. But... He doesn't have to score as soon as possible. Well, we're about to find out. Shouldn't I? <laughs> He's going for the scatter. Interesting. And a death. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Oh, and there's the scat. Okay, well now, now it looks like Nabolo should have tried to get the ball, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. 
Yep. Oh, he's failed to pick up again. Has to re-roll it. Maybe he didn't have to re-roll it last time on the 4+. plus. Has to re-roll it on the 3+, plus now. I mean, he tried, but the dodge, like, he could have tried harder, right? He could have dodged and one-diced the lineman, uh, the zombie, or he could have just uphilled the ghoul. Um, but he didn't do those things. So now Diamond is 2-0 up and gets his wolf back and is now a huge favourite to win game one of this series. Is he the best player in the world? Maybe. I don't think you can judge the highest NAF ranked player as the best player in the world. Because, you know, there's other ways to play Blood Bowl, right? It's not, it's, it's not a slight against Olivier Delac or whoever else is number one ranked at the time. I just find it weird that, like, people say that, you know. Nobody calls whoever's top ranked on Fumble the best player in the world, right? Nobody calls whoever's top of Blood Bowl 3 ladder the best player in the world, right? Well, although actually last season it was K-Frog. <laughs> and the season before it was probably Diamond. But, you know, apart from that... <laughs> it's best of two and a half, Odont. I could make a video explaining the format so I don't have to keep explaining it continuously <laughs> every single stream because it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to... Uh, to do it neatly and tidily, but they play they play two games and if those two games produce a clear winner, they go through. Um, if it's tied, either two draws or a win from each team, then they play a third game that has overtime. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea, all done. Okay, that you're clever. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do. I'll make it a chatbot. I'll do. You know what? I'll work out the chatbot tonight at like two a.m. <laughs> as I'm as I'm uploading to YouTube and making the thumbnails and doing all that stuff, I'll uh, I'll do the uh, I'll do the chat. I'll sort the chatbot messages. Yep, that's a good idea. That is a very good idea. Chatbot messages, the way forward for that. Yes. I mean, it's pretty much best of three, yes. Like, if, 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 but the thing is, like, if, if Diomed won, then if it would, if it would, every game would be overtime, right, in a best of three. So you would just have two wins and you'd go through. But now, it's not best, it's not overtime, so Diomed will just need a draw in the second game if he wins this. Whereas if it was best of three, guaranteed, then a win and a draw would still mean Nabola would win the third game, right? But Nabola wouldn't have the chance of a third game. If he's to draw and lose. Um, I'll be doing them all as replays. Um, oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> pork ones? I don't know. Um, if people aren't streaming, like some people people stream their own games, right? Like JL Eve streams his own games. Olivier Delac streams or YouTubes his own games. Um, other people will be streaming their own games. Um, so, you know, obviously, Devo will be streaming his. Um, if you, you know, if they're not, then I will get round to them eventually and do a, do a replay. In fact, I might be doing Serafinos tonight. Or, is it is it tonight? Is it on now? Yeah, they're not, I don't think they're playing now. Are they playing now? Okay. I didn't, shouldn't have done that, should I should look on here. Wait, they're playing tonight? Oh, eight o'clock. The Mars versus Serafino. Oh, I don't have that on this. Oh. Yeah, 
it's hard. Honestly, it's it's hard to do all the planning. I guess they they organised it recently. Yeah, they organised it recently, so I haven't updated that. It's difficult. Right, so he's going for the two turn to get back into it, right? I don't know what the wall was. It's hard because, like, the Serafino match, I guess, was just organised today, right? And that's why I don't have it on the, on the thing there. Yeah, you can watch it in game. Yes, you can spectate in game. Obviously, I'm spectating in game right now, so you can just watch that. Oh, it was a dub skulls. Right, thank you. And yeah, the problem is this this setup is quite good normally because your stand firm stops him blitzing through there. But instead, he's got Juggernaut with on his Roger, so he blitzes him through no problem and kazzes him no regen. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Also, Nobolo's down to no rerolls after that dub skull. So, um, flip me. Flip me. This is pretty, uh... And he's going to probably score turn 13, right? And then maybe he'll get it 2-2. Two -two. Maybe he will. Oh, tanks Dutch off and <laughs> Fratterborg wants. This isn't easy, is it? This isn't. This is. You're unlikely to stop this here. So, I guess you try to hit an annoying gutter runner, and uh, like you don't need to stop him stalling. Like normally, you'd be trying to, you know, stop him stalling if he did this, but. He's not going to stall because he needs to get it to do too. So I guess you want to make like the most impactful removal you can. Maybe this guard guy, right? The guard guy could be the target. Could just not even bother with the cage. Let's try and hit the guard. Nope, he's going for the roger with claw. And he can foul the roger, can't he? Because he's got zombies. Gets the removal. Pretty good. I mean, regen is always good, right? It's just way better. It's like everyone's got their own apple. Like, it's crazy. It's With the apple being nerfed, it's way better than it used to be. Like it, And it was already contentious whether regen was better than apple. But now, it's way better. I mean, I guess you don't get to... You don't get to apple KOs, right? But then also you're not paying for it, so... Can't foul the roger? No. You can foul a line rat. <laughs> He, in fact, has to foul the line rat, basically, right? Because... Because he's got two reserves. Maybe... Th no, well, I guess no, he doesn't anymore. He's got one and a half reserves. Oh, he can't foul that line rat. <laughs> Jim wrong again. <laughs> he should just foul his own player so he can foul something. He might as well rush these, because again, it doesn't matter if he gets Kaz, right? Okay, so he's, he's actually made Nabolo roll some dice, and Nabolo's got no re-rolls. Look at that, four Kaz. That was, that was really good, actually, wasn't it? He got, he got to remove the Roger and actually give Nabolo something to do here. Not a lot, but something to do. <laughs> An Irish man jumping over a tree. Thank you very much, Keith. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's going to happen sometime next year. I Jim guarantee the art commissions will happen next year. Unfortunately, of course, I'm a little bit busy with casting all of these games. Uh, intense casting, but after that, I'm going to try and prioritise, um, you know, other things. <laughs> it's actually not that easy, is it? Like, he's obviously got this guy free, so we can 2D to free up this guy, but then after that, it's probably going to be a 3 plus dodge, isn't it?
So then if you're going to 3 plus dodge anyway, maybe just do it with a gutter, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe just the gutter, just dodge throughs are the best. Nah, they can't be. Wait, how, wait, how fast are they? <laughs> how fast are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's two dodges. Shouldn't have made this block. That is... That is so greedy. That is so outrageously greedy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, gets back the two turn. Yeah, how far they're fast enough, aren't they? They're fast enough. Ah, oh, thanks, help me. That is outstanding. The roger stayed out. And to be fair, yeah, by doing that one in nine, it means it's only one one in thirty six instead of if you use the reroll the first one. So like, it does make the dodge through better, right? But yeah, the no roll is huge. So yeah, I mean he can turn over the, but he can turn over the necro technically, but he's got eight players to do it, and uh, only three gutters, no wrestle, just strip. One gut is getting smashed, either defenseless one. Or uh, probably the defenseless one's getting smashed. So yeah, this is still looking pretty grim for Nabolo, but he gave himself a chance, and there's only one reroll for Diamed. So you know his ordering's got to be top notch, and uh, he is down the flesh golem there. Did get his wraith back though, which is massive. Does not get. Oh wow. Okay. Now, I'm not saying it's over, <laughs> but he caught the kickoff, and he's got a bribe, so <laughs> it just got a hell of a lot easier, that's for sure. This is probably like the only one he had to reroll if it failed. So now you could dub skull there and it'd be fine, right? It would have been. I, I think he could have made that block a little bit safer, but it was still likely fine if he dub skulled. I think I would have assisted from here, right? So that you've got an extra assist on the foul. I would have, I would have like assisted with this guy there, and then um, move this one over and this one up, and then blitz with this guy and then bring him back down. And then I would have had two assists for the foul, and I would have fouled as well. He's fouling this one. Injured. <laughs> Is this a dicing? Like, he's had a lot of hits, but it's getting so many removals now that it's making you think, is it a dicing? I mean, for me, this is the perfect amount of rats to have been removed, but it does feel like it's on the upper end. Well, he didn't even blitz. Chose to keep that guy in the cage instead. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. 
Yeah, dicings don't count against Elden Ring. Yeah, like it's weird. Like I don't know how many cards you should expect. Right, like that that, that one in thirty six dodge fail is what is what like kind of cost the ball of the game, right? But then you know he did activate the Rogue without a friend, and uh, that the Rogue of fail combined with the one in thirty six is what did it in. Yes, he actually doesn't have to do anything. Yes, he actually doesn't have to do anything. It's true, and this way he's got these. He's got this guy occupied, and he had an extra guy in the cage. If he'd gone there and dub scold, he's or like one in nine. His position's worse. He wants to keep the reroll. Um, I feel like maybe the over here is even better actually. But um, fair enough. Yeah, he doesn't have to score. He doesn't have to do anything. He just has to pass the turn until the end of the, <laughs> the end of the match. Okay, are we coming in for the strip? Yeah, I, I like I like this zombie a lot better over here, right? Because if he strips, he comes in from this side, and it's not a 3D uphill anyway. Dodge, gets in, gets the strip. No, the scores don't. The scores don't matter. Just the result. If if uh, Nabola wins five nil, at the second game, um, you know it would still be a draw. If if Diamond wins this, but he's just lost the ball, so maybe he won't. Outrageous strip ball. Flipping rats. Doing that without any rerolls is wild, isn't it? And after after uh, Diamed kept this guy in to make the dodging harder as well, right? He that made it a five plus. He can knock down every single gutter runner this turn. Which would help things. <laughs> no, they wouldn't have Dimish. <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a lucky scatter actually. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Again. Yeah, so me too. I can't believe I made it out of the group, honestly. No, oh, beautiful scatters, except the second push keeps it, but he can, he, well, he can't necessarily clear it, can he? He can at least clear the, oh, no, no, he can scatter with the other gutter. He can, he can push the other gutter, the scatter, again. And then that will give him three dice on the side stepper. <laughs> but he might not go for that anyway. There's more than one way to skin a cat. He doesn't go for the three dice. I'd have definitely gone for the three dice scatter. Just because, like, if anybody catches it, I'm quite happy, right? Like, apart from obviously his players. <laughs> but if, if the size that we caught it, uh, you've got a three dice on him, and then you've got a three dice with block afterwards. So, like, you're really likely to get the size that we're only scattering it anyway. Well, in that case, I like the fleshy doing it. I like the fleshy doing it a lot better. A lot more. Because then you've got guard, right? Then you've got guard in there, and now you've got a 3D with this guy. But he, he only has a 3D with this one, which then gets him closer to the ball. So it's only a 2D. That does free a zombie if he wants to free it. 
or the ghoul. Huge pal. I quite liked freeing the zombie and then moving the zombie here to punch this as well as punching that. Oh, he hasn't blitzed yet. Kaz. Oh dear, here we go. Makes the pick up. Massive. Yeah, then he could have actually blitzed, right? Then he could have blitzed with this one. And then brought it in there. Would have been really good. This is probably another just don't activate the zombie turn, isn't it? Or foul him. <laughs> the zombie could foul him. And he does. Gets the stun. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Kaz. He made a lot of blocks, though. He made a lot of blocks, so he did make a lot of blocks. And they are armor eight plus. Um, and like this half, they could have been KOs, right? I don't know. It's just, it's just like. <laughs> It's hard to say. Like I think the the worst look was the was the one in thirty six that exposed the ball after the one in six from the roger. But then you can call that a misplay from the uh, activating the roger without a friend, leaving that gaping hole if you roll the one in thirty six. But then that's not very nice to say it's a misplay. But you know maybe it was. Yeah, that that's what lost him the game, right? Not all of the cards. We've all seen Skaven win games with this many cas before, but I mean, it is a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot of removals and that, but you know. You've won games taking this many cas, so... Maybe you haven't won games versus Diamond taking that many cas, but you've, you've won games taking that many cas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. It, it's just harder to say it's obviously dicing, right? Like, wh when Nabolo did this to lizard men, <laughs> right? When he cast four Saurus and, like, three Skinks, that was obviously a dicing. But, um... This, there's been like so many, there's so been so many blocks. But and again, you get more blocks because you get up in players, right? Because, like, you know, Necro are the best team at snowballing. So but you get more up in players and you get more and more blocks. And uh, that's what happens. I don't know about should have been Fluffy, but could have been, yeah. Could have been 2 2 if he'd gone for the one turn with it, yeah. To not go for the one turn at all with four rerolls was pretty wild. Uh, yeah, Chunder, you're in, you're in commentary, aren't you? You've got the commentary role. Yeah. Yeah, I'll join after this. <laughs> um, I, th I, th I think Necro are the best team at snowballing because they, they get fouls and they've got Frenzy, right? They've got Frenzy that, that is a double-edged sword but once you're up players it's just amazing and then they've also got movement 8 players with Frenzy so like, you know, they can, if you potato away they just get you Like they've got the best insurance policy they've got They've got Claw and Frenzy to when things are going well. They're so good when they're ahead. So good when they're ahead. I mean, Vamps being ahead on players, I guess. Yeah, it's good. Like, Wood Elves are good players as well, but it's not 
so much of a, like an increase in performance, right? Wow. He's <laughs> just got nothing left. I mean, it sure looks like a dicing, and maybe it was. Maybe it was, but that wasn't all there was to the game at all. It was still, there was still lots of gameplay, even though there were lots of cars. Yeah, I've got nothing left. I like that Nabolo went for the right play there, right? As stupid as it was. 5 4 4 3. Double rush 1D. Pows it. I mean, I don't think it matters actually. It wasn't the right play. No, I don't like that. It didn't matter because he couldn't stop it being a loss. And touchdown difference doesn't matter. So there you go. 3 1 win for Diamed. No difference to winning 2 1. Touchdown difference will not be a factor in this stage. Um. So, there you go. It was a comfortable in the end win for Diamed. Very touch and go at points. But um, I guess the key thing was Nabolo not even trying the one turn. And then that Roger activation that failed and lost his tackle zones really killed it for him. And uh, I mean, the, the, pro the problem is the draw isn't much to look at, right? Because it's, you know, it's completely unfilled in. But that is a 1-0 one nil up in the series now at Diamed. If he draws the next game, he will qualify to the second round. So, congratulations, Diamed. Commiserations, Nabolo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.